Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Foliage. In today's video, we are going to be talking about this absolutely beautiful philodendron called as Philodendron Eurobicens. Now, a lot of times people ask me questions uh, wherein they want to buy a philodendron which is not uh, very tricky to grow or which is very easy and non-fussy philodendron. This, this is the one that you can add in your collection. It is a climbing philodendron. Uh, as of now, this is a very young plant. Uh, the funny thing is I had got a cutting almost uh, five to six months back and it took a very very long time for it to reach to this stage. Uh, it is still very young. It's not climbing yet. You can see it is just starting to put out the early nodes and as and when this plant will start to grow I will kind of train and push the plant back so that it can attach itself onto this pole. Now this is a very ugly pole I would say but this was mixed with two to three of the uh, poles that I had so I kind of uh, stuck all together and made it a pole I didn't want it to waste it just like that so I used it for this and very soon this is not going to be visible it looks little bad right now but trust me it won't be visible because as and when the plant will start to grow it will cover up the pole so even at times if you tend to make a pole that does not look that great it's absolutely okay eventually when the plant is going to stick to the pole the pole is not even going to be visible it is going to be covered with leaves so as I said this is one of the most easiest philodendron that you can uh, add in your collection it is not rare it is is not expensive you can easily find it in any of your local nursery and here you can see it's now again starting to put out a lot of new growth i also have a deafenberkia that's growing in this i don't know how it ended up but uh, nevertheless as i said this is not a very expensive uh, not a very rare kind of a philodendron you will easily find it in any local nursery if not you can easily find it online as well now the best thing about this philodendron is that it can grow even in less light as well but remember guys uh, less light means that the plant is going to grow more slow but it still has an ability to grow in less light as well so if you're a person who's not receiving a lot of light then you can definitely add this philodendron in your collection as of now the plant is doing quite well i do see a good amount of growth it took almost five months for it to reach to this stage but now i can see that it's picking up and it's growing much faster initially i just had one leaf this is the most oldest leaf uh, and I had, when i got it it just had one leaf and that one stem which I had put into the soil and now this is all of the new growth that's coming up. It's also getting some aerial nodes. Now if you want to propagate this, you'll have to cut it a little bit lower of this node. I already have a lot of videos on propagation of philodendrons. I'll link them up in the description below. You can check it out. So now let's talk a little bit in detail about the soil mix. Now the soil mix that I have used over here is a very simple soil mix. Uh, basically a mix of coco peat, garden soil and sand. So we basically need a soil mix that can retain slight amount of moisture. That's what coco peat is going to do. Garden soil will give the basic nutrients and sand is going to make the soil mix well draining because they prefer a well draining soil mix which is loose. So ensure you're using a pot with a drain hole so that the excess water can drain out. Whenever you see around one to two inches of the upper layer of soil is dry, you can go ahead and do a complete watering until the water starts passing through the drain hole. Always remember guys, philodendrons are not drought tolerant plants. So you have to ensure that there is a slight even moisture in the soil but not soggy wet soil because that will lead to a root rot. Now talking about pest issues, this plant does get affected with spider mites, uh, mealybugs mostly on the stem area. But a lot of times you'll see uh, spider mites attacking the plant. So always turn the leaves and check. Uh, once in two weeks, once in three weeks will help you uh, determine the health of the plant. The moment you notice that there is some kind of insect attack, treat it at the early stage don't wait for the last minute talking about fertilizers please don't add fertilizers during the winter season because that's when the plant tends to slow down its growth watering should be reduced also do not add any fertilizers fertilizers can be given during the summers uh, once in 15 days or once in a month depending upon what kind of fertilizer you are giving and what is the strength depending upon that uh, because everyone has a very different uh, approach of using fertilizers everyone uses very different fertilizers so depending on that because it's not a very heavy feeding plant uh, so you'll have to keep that in mind i offer compost tea once in 15 days and that tends to work out really well ever since there has been a good amount of growth i have been giving uh, the fertilizers on an interval of 15 days and that has been working out really well a uh, very good amount of healthy growth on this plant Talking about uh, the temperature and humidity, uh, they are not very finicky about humidity. Anywhere above 50% is going to work out really well. Temperature anywhere between 15 degrees Celsius up to 34, 35 degrees Celsius is going to work out really well. So always remember guys, philodendrons are from a tropical environment. So 
you need to kind of replicate similar environment tropical environment is basically something that's warm and has a good amount of humidity in that kind of environment a philodendrons will thrive really well now talking about is this plant toxic yes philodendrons are toxic if you ingest the leaves so ensure you're keeping this plant away from the reach of small children and pets ingesting of the leaves can be quite dangerous so ensure you're keeping it away from them apart from that it's a absolutely easy to grow plant does not require a lot of attention it's not a very humidity needing plant so if you are looking out for a plant that is very easy to take care uh, does not require a lot of maintenance then this is one of the philodendron you can add in your collection as i said it is a climbing plant so if you're looking out for a climbing plant this is one of the best option you can add in your collection so guys that's all about it i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting